Hi, welcome to another edition of Bikinis and Martinis. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to do your own facial with products you probably already have on board. And when we're done with our facial, I hope you'll join me out in the cockpit for a lemon drop. In today's facial, we're using everyday products to make both a sugar scrub and a honey mask. And come on, if I have this stuff on my boat, you probably have it at home. Babab oil is packed with antioxidants and it rejuvenates damaged skin cells. Tea tree oil, come on ladies, you live on a boat. It's a boat staple. Manuka honey, not only delicious, it's a natural hydrogen peroxide honey, and honey, it's worth every penny. Coconut oil is a natural moisturizer. <coughs> Apple cider vinegar helps balance your skin's pH, and baking soda is versatile and just cool science. For the honey mask, Honey, don't start with the vinegar. Start with the honey, adding two teaspoons. But since manuka is thicker than raw honey, have a spoon nearby. Next, shake the vinegar well to wake up the mother and add one teaspoon of the apple cider vinegar. Try to be more graceful than I am. Finally, add one teaspoon of baking soda and watch the fun begin. The natural properties of baking soda combined with the ACV will cause a fun bubbling effect. Stir it up and set it aside. For the sugar scrub, mix two teaspoons of dark brown sugar. Dark is better for exfoliating because it contains more molasses. Add one teaspoon of coconut oil. And if you live on a boat, it's already liquefied. But if it's not, you need to warm it to a liquid state first. Next, add about two drops of baobab. I just love saying that, baobab. And then add two to three drops of tea tree oil. Mix and voila. And my face is clean. All right, so now it is actually time to get started. Um, first thing that we're going to do is exfoliate. Now, one of the advantages of doing uh, a, a, a sugar scrub on a boat is when you're in your head, and that's where I am right now, we're, I'm actually in, in our head, I, I don't have to be over the sink. I could let this stuff fall on the floor because I can clean it out. And that's, I think, what I'm gonna do. So you wanna put this all over your face. And you want to be really careful not to get too far into um, the area underneath your eyes. And that is it. So there is a lot of extra um, sugar scrub in here. Uh, I'm actually going to put it in the shower for my next shower so I can exfoliate other parts of my body. 
You want to use circular motion. Don't forget your T-zone. And voila, we're done with this. All right, this has been sitting for about five minutes, uh, pulling out some impurities because I'm using brown sugar. I'm just going to rinse a washcloth, so you do want to have one of these nearby, not ready. And then you just wipe it off. Couldn't be more easy. Right, it's time for the honey baking soda and cider vinegar and this is pretty runny um, I probably could have used even a little bit less oh that's good now because we are using the um, cider vinegar and that is naturally anti-inflammatory it is okay to put it underneath your eyes but be careful I mean this still vinegar if you get it in your eyes you're gonna be very upset all right so this has been on my skin for about 10 minutes uh, it's been feeling really good and now it's time to remove now, if you're looking at this towel and wondering, oh my gosh, is that all stained? The answer is no. Baking soda has natural bleaching properties to it. Quick rinse. And this towel's gonna be just fine. That was just quick, real quick with rinse. So anyway. All right, my skin feels really, really good. Because of the coconut oil and the sugar scrub, um, I actually put moisture back into my skin. I really don't need to moisturize my skin right now, but we live on a boat, ladies, and so you do want to put on your sunblock, so don't forget. Um, I will share with you the product that I absolutely adore. This is the product. Um, I keep it well stocked. It's got an SPF of 40. Um, it is for State Beauty, and I hope you give it a try and you enjoy. And it, all of these ingredients you should probably already have in your locker, so give a do-it-yourself facial a try. Let me know if uh, you have any problems with the recipes that I'm providing. Enjoy your day.